seven things you must know before moving to Mexico. Do you know what this? Yeah. <laughs> Mexican food in other countries has nothing to do with Mexican food in Mexico. I don't really want to. How many I do? See. I have them. I eat them um, like, oh, it's not that bad. They are quite crispy. Music. Oh my gosh, it feels so wrong. No, I think I can't. They have eyes and. No, I have tried esmoles, I think, which is ant eggs. Those are good. But you don't know they are eggs. You don't know nothing about them. It's just like food. You know, you don't see shape, you don't see legs, eyes or faces. <laughs> Mexican food in Mexico, it's amazing. There is a variety of things. Usually you can find the same ingredients presented in different ways, but the flavor is really good. You will always find a good spicy sauce, whatever you eat. So be prepared, you will find things in here that you have never seen before. Go and try them. You have to be careful, maybe your body is not used to it. If you go to a place and there is a lot of people, that's a good place. Usually nobody tell you about this until it happens. There is a thing called La Maldición de Montezuma. Eventually, you will have stomach problems. Included in this one, I want to talk about tap water. Is it safe to drink it? Should I drink it? No. Do I brush my teeth with it? Yes. Do I wash my vegetables and fruits with it? Yes. But I don't drink it. Many people come to Mexico City because it is an affordable city and they are right. Rent. You can pay around $800. There are several areas. Mexico City is organized by colonias, colonies, and it's very different from one to another. So depending on where you choose to live, your rent will vary. But you can have a really good apartment on that price. I mean, comparing it with other places in Latin America or in general, it's pretty affordable. If I don't eat out, I just go to the grocery store and I buy some food. It's about 70 to 90 dollars a week. It will depend on what you eat. I eat in a very simple way. A lot of vegetables, fruits, of course, if you choose to eat out, your budget is gonna be completely different. A very good restaurant, 15 dollars or 50 dollars. You can find different prices in different places. You can eat from very cheap to very expensive. <laughs> Mexico in general, it's a big country. If you have been here in the beaches and you decide to come to Mexico City, it's not like, oh, I'm close to the beach. No, Mexico City, it's almost in the middle of the country. And for going to the beach from here, either side is like four hours by car or you have to take a flight. Mexico City is a massive city. It has like 20 million people. There is a metro, there is a metro bus, Uber or taxi, or they have a bicycle system called EcoBici, which works pretty well. I would recommend to pay the fee. They have like a year subscription. The best recommendation is live where you work. Each colony has a different vibe, has a different history. The most popular one for foreigners, La Condesa, La Roma, Polanco, Coyoacán, and El Centro, maybe. They are very nice and cool, and they have plenty of restaurants and cafes, and you can walk everywhere. And there are a lot of trees and a lot of parks, and it's beautiful. Some of them are more expensive because of that. There are also other areas that are pretty nice as well. So don't be afraid of trying new places, but ask before going. Because in some cases, if you just go across the street, you enter into a new colony, some areas can be safer than others. The best way to find an apartment is choosing the area you want to live in and walk around. There are always signs and you can call them. If you find a place that you really like, take it. Because if you don't take it, another person is gonna take it. I think it's not fair how people look at Mexico. Mexico is a beautiful country with many good things. You cannot define it just because of a specific area that media loves to talk about. I mean, there are areas that are dangerous. The cartels exist, the drug dealers exist, but that doesn't mean that it's 
like that everywhere. I think Mexico City is a very safe place. You have to be careful, but as you are careful in any big city. In general, it will depend on the area. If it's the peak hour and you go to the metro or the metro bus, you will get pickpocket. You have to be careful of that. <laughs> Nobody told me that Mexico is a cold city. I mean, it's not cold cold like Russia, but it's cold. People picture or I picture Mexico City as hot weather and it's never really hot. Today we are almost finishing September. The highest temperature right now is 73. The lowest temperature is going to be 53 and there is a winter. The thing is, usually in countries that have seasons, they are prepared. In here, usual places don't have a heating system. You can buy a, like a, an electrical heater. In December, January, February, temperatures can get down to 45. Also, it's a bit dry. It's a very high city, so maybe as soon as you get here, you will feel different. And the air quality is not the best, but you will get used to it. Vamos! You'll find a lot of people who speak English, but not everyone. In Mexico City, you're gonna be a bit spoiled because most of the people speak English, because many people visit this city, so they are used to it. But if you're coming here for a long period of time, take advantage of that and learn Spanish. Mexico City is a very good city for living. I think right now more than ever because it's a very active city. There is space for everyone. There is a lot of art, there is a lot of music, there is a lot of good people around. You can have fun living here. <laughs>